Hey, DJ. Um, I know it's still only been a few minutes since the fight ended, but uh, any further reflections on what you said in the cage there? Sucks, man. Sucks to have it stolen from you. I work on the butt off. Um, so much better than that. And uh, it would be nice to actually get the chance to show it. You know, it's a title fight. It's a champer's champ fight. And you're going to stop the fight like that? I'm not on a single leg. He says, hey, show me something. I said, I'm okay. I'm on a single leg in a scramble. He stops punching. He's defending a single leg. And you're going to stop the fight? Uh, it's just ridiculous, man. I, I, it's, it's pretty pathetic that I have better knowledge than that ref. So you just felt like, I mean, the other champion versus champion fights we've seen, we've seen, you know, clean knockouts, corner stoppage. You just wanted the opportunity to, you know, fight. If I'm going to lose, I want to lose. I want to lose if I'm going to lose. Look, congratulations, Henry Segundo. Awesome. Great job, man. Awesome. You know, but you did not win. You did not win this fight. Um, I am happy to accept defeat, but I did not, I did not lose. I was more rocked in the first Cody fight than that fight. I got clipped, hardly clipped behind the ear. And then a, a grown man to be shoving you, of course you're gonna be in a scramble. It's not like I can just like stand up and then the grown ass man's on top of me. So yeah, man, I'm, I'm as you can tell, a little frustrated. This shit needs to happen again at Flyway. This is bullshit. I worked my ass off 12 weeks to get here to be stolen from me in 30 seconds. You guys can see the fire. I'll fucking fight tomorrow. Excuse my language. And um. Everyone's going to say, you know, the weight cut and everything, maybe did that have anything to do with maybe you getting hurt a little easier? Do you, do you rule all that up? Do you yeah. feel the same in the cage tonight yeah. as you did at 135? I actually felt better. I have no excuses of why. I seriously did. I came in, I felt great, man. I felt really good. Like, energy levels were good. I felt like it was a good fireworks. You know, I just I had that feeling. Um, but, you know, the Delta shitty card. Do you think they would be willing to do the rematch at 125, or do you think the next step is likely to do it again? I mean, if the UFC wants to make that shit right, I mean, it would be different if I went to the Yeah, sure, just do your title fight 35, give you your shot, but I did not lose. You got the UFC doctors down there saying, like, man, I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't know what to do. That was early. Like, it would be different, too, if I got smoked and dropped, like, in the Cody fight. You know, like, I would be, I'd be, like, I can't even, I wouldn't even accept that victory for me. Like as Henry Sudo. Yeah, of course, whatever he's going to be happy. He, he got the belt, he won, he gets the state champion. But how could you be happy with that victory? That wasn't a victory. Like, he had a better chance of stopping the, the first Cody fight than that one. I got hit on the chin as hard as you can get hit. This one clipped me behind the ear. What happens when you get behind the ear? You know, it's like, it's, it's frustrating. So. DJ, it's it's interesting because we haven't had a chance to talk to Dana yet, so we you know we still don't know what the future of the flyweight division is, right? Yeah. So there's a chance to get shut up. Do you feel like though, with with this controversy and with the way this ended, that, that that's enough to keep this whole division around so that you can get another shot at this title? Sure, I hope so. Um, again, selfishly, <laughs> you know, but uh, yes, man, like this this is not right. You know, it, it's it's complete bullshit. If for some reason it's not possible, if they say, listen, this was the last one, we're retiring it, do you accept that offer of saying, let's do it at 35 and put my bantamweight belt on the line? I don't know, man. I'm pretty effing bitter right now, you know? I'm pretty pissed off. I worked my ass off, bro. Um, I'm about to fucking cry. Put in a lot of work. And... If, for whatever reason, they don't want to do it at flyweight, you might not want to do it at weight. With the thoughts you mentioned, Max Holloway at 45, is that still an Look, option? Look, man, I didn't even get to win this fight. How can I call a fucking Max Holloway now? That was the plan. Hasn't stopped people in the past. Yeah, I know, but I'm a fucking martial artist. You know, I believe in being the best because you are the best. Not because I can talk shit. Look, I am the best fighter. Unfortunately, I did not get to prove that. Um, I, it wouldn't be right. The same way as I don't think it'd be right to not have this fight at flyweight again. You know, like, how could you watch that and, under, and, and just let that happen and, and not make it right? It, it's too much, like, this is my livelihood, man. This is how I feed my family. This is what I do for the future. This is my legacy. This is my name. I've said legacy a thousand million times now this fight camp. And it just be ripped out of my hands. You know, like, instantly standing up and asking the ref, like, what the hell? You know? 
Would you object if Kevin McDonald was your referee again? Absolutely. Would any of you guys be happy winning something that way? I mean, come on. It's just, it's, it's ridiculous, man. Any other questions? Uh, TJ, just real quick. We saw Dana in the cage with you as well. What did he say to you after the fight? He said, thank you for making the weight cut. You know, I mean, what can he say? Uh, I told him, yes, it's bullshit. I told him he took the word. I mean, I don't know. I'm very curious of what he's going to say. Um, and all I'd say is, come on, Dan. I worked my fucking ass off, man. I've, I've gone through the ringer. I went through all the toughs. Um, I've been in those fights. I've gotten my belt, taken me from my cruise. It was a split decision. I worked my ass off to get back to get that rematch. Um, you know, I've, I, I've been through the gauntlet, you know, and so just... You know, give me this chance. Give me this chance back. And if you do get that chance back, you said it took you 12 weeks to get here. Oh, uh, my body's ready now. I'll fucking fight this week. I seriously, I, I have, I'm not rocked whatsoever or anything. Like, I got, uh, it's just, it's just frustrating. My, my body's ready to respond right away. It's ready to make the way. I've done the work already. Um, obviously, the sooner the better, but uh, I probably have a medical suspension and some bullshit, you know, but I'm sure I can be clear. You've had a few setbacks in your career before, but would you say uh, this is probably the most frustrating situation you've been in? This is the worst. Um, it, it sucked for the cruise fight, you know, but at least I got my chance to, to do it. It wasn't snatched from a decision, like, well, someone made a decision, but it wasn't just stopped by one, one referee, you know what I mean? Um, and there was so much on the line for this. So much that could happen after this. Uh, my pound for pound spot, my, my record, like so much that could be happening now from this fight. I am leaps and bounds better than Anderson Hugo. I greatly believe that. But unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to prove it. And Henry said, oh, we can do it again at 135. Um, would you rather do it at 125 than 135? Do you have any, any preference? Yes, I'd rather do it at 25. Absolutely. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to do that until I got taken. I worked my ass off to do it, so I would actually like the opportunity. I was trying to become something that people don't get to do, you know? Um, being a double champ. That was something I had my goal set on. And for not even getting the chance to do it, it just doesn't sell over me, man. I, there's no way you can sit back and watch that fight and, and just be okay with it. You know? Hate me. I don't really love me or hate me. You can't be okay with it. There's no way. Thanks, you. Uh, is it? No one took the mic for me. One more question for you. Uh, you didn't have a whole lot of time to really evaluate what Henry was offering the fight ended really quickly. Did his speed throw you for any loops? Was he a little faster than you thought? Or Maybe a little just... more aggressive out the go. You know, they usually not that aggressive, which would have been great if I would have got a chance to actually... His aggressiveness would have been great for me if I would actually get the fight. You know? um, that'd be the only thing that kind of surprised me. Um, TJ, did you have a, an opportunity to speak to Henry after the fight? I know you like said a few words, but anything substantial? I just said congratulations. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I you know, was competing against the man. You know, like good job, man. Like, but really, deep down, I'm like, really that happy? <laughs> yeah, how could you be that fucking happy over that win? You know, but obviously, he did not lose his belt. He's gonna feed his family, pay his bills, good for him. Like, be happy, yes, but. I wouldn't be happy winning that way, that's for sure. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call myself the champ champ. I wouldn't call myself the double champ winning that way. I appreciate it, you guys. I'm going.